If you're needing to create custom SVGs out of simple logos and simple images, Car by Create may just be the way that you wanna go. In this video, we're gonna talk about that. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And as you know, my favorite way to create SVGs out of simple logos and simple images is by using Silhouette Studio, the business edition. That's how I've shared in the past how I create my SVGs out of simple logos and simple images. But I recently had a comment that I could do the exact same thing using Car by Create as well. So I decided to go ahead and test this out and see if this is an option that you guys may have without having to purchase the business edition of Silhouette Studio. And to my surprise, this is actually a valid option for you guys. So it makes sense that if you're not using vinyl for anything, using the program may not be the way that you want to go. So if you're able to get the same output out of Car by Create, all the better, right? If you are liking the channel and you are liking the content, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump into Car by Create now and let me show you how to use the trace feature. For this example, I'm going to use some free clip art. You may have a logo or something that someone has provided to you that you may want to try to do this first and try to create the SVG yourself before having to send it to someone else to convert the image to an SVG. So in this example, I just looked up some free hunting clip art and found this one that seems simple enough without a lot of detail. So what I'm going to do is right click on this image and save the image. I'm going to save it here in my downloads. Once it's saved, I'm going to go into Car by Create and I'm going to click on this trace image option. In the pop-up, you'll see your downloaded image file. Depending on how it downloads, it may be available to click on. In my case, it isn't available. So what I have to do is I have to rename it and add the correct extension. So I'm going to right click on this image, rename and add JPG as the extension. I'm saving it as a JPEG file. Go ahead and click on open and Car by Create will give you this pop-up asking if you want to add the extension to the name. Go ahead and click add. Now your image is available to be open in Car by Create and the imaging tracing window now appears. Here in this window, you have the image and depending on how it appears, you'll need to move the threshold bar to get a clear image. The clearer the image, the better the vectors will be when Carbide Create finishes tracing the image. If you move the bar all the way to the right, you're going to lose detail. And same if you move it all the way to the left, you'll lose detail as well. So you'll have to play with this and get it to where you think it looks best. So that looks good to me right there. And I'm going to click on Trace Image and it will convert the image into vectors. You can see that this turned out pretty good. The only thing that I see that needs more work is the circle here. It is broken and incomplete. So I'd probably want to do this again and get a full complete circle. These broken areas here in the antlers may be fine, but the circle should definitely be closed. So this is a case where you'd repeat the steps and play around with the threshold to get the vectors just right. By seeing this example, I hope it clears up any questions or allows you to see the actual tracing process in action. Thank you guys for checking out the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.